On Friday, June the 12th, 1987, President Ronald Reagan made a speech at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. He said, we welcome change and openness, for we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate, tear down this wall. Later on in his speech, President Reagan went on to say, as I looked out a moment ago from the Reichstag, that embodiment of German unity, I noticed words crudely spray painted upon the wall, perhaps by a young Berliner. This wall will fall. Beliefs become reality. Yes, across Europe, this wall will fall, for it cannot withstand faith. It cannot withstand truth. The wall cannot withstand freedom. As we all know, just two years later, that wall did fall, ending the communistic reign and reuniting Eastern and Western Germany. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 13 to 16 tell a similar, though much more powerful story. The Bible says, Now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For He Himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in His flesh the dividing wall of hostility. Jesus Christ is our peace. He has made us both one, and He has broken down the dividing wall of hostility. The ruler of this world would like to keep you imprisoned and under His absolute control. As an enemy of God, Satan's desire is to keep us captive within the walls of his control. He would have us to believe that his way is the best way. It's interesting to note that on the day before Reagan's 1987 visit, 50,000 people had demonstrated against the presence of the American president in Berlin. During the visit itself, wide swaths of Berlin were closed off to prevent further anti-Reagan protests. After his speech, Reagan commented about those demonstrators saying, I wonder if they ever ask themselves that if they should have the kind of government they apparently seek, no one would ever be able to do what they are doing again. This world is living in deceit. The lies of Satan would have us believe that we are better off living within his walls, living according to our perceived freedoms. But we're not free at all. Under the rule of Satan, we are bound by walls that keep us separated from Christ, from peace, and from the love of God. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For He Himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in His flesh the dividing wall of hostility. The wall that Paul is referring to here is believed by most scholars to refer to what is known as the Mesotoikon, a dividing wall in the temple at Jerusalem. In the temple at Jerusalem, a stone palisade about four and a half feet high warned Gentiles on the pain of death to go no further. They could enter the court of the Gentiles, but there they had to stop. And the Jews fanatically defended the farther temple courts from the Gentile intrusion. The physical middle wall of partition was not destroyed until the temple itself was destroyed. Our sin separates us from God. We are in need of reconciliation. We need to be brought together again. And the only way we can experience true peace is through Jesus Christ, who is Himself our peace. And it is Jesus Christ Himself who has broken down the dividing wall of hostility. When a person places their faith in Jesus Christ, trusting Him to remove the penalty of their sin, that person is no longer held captive, no longer bound within the wall that separates us from the love of God. 
Are you a believer and follower of Jesus Christ? Have you recognized your need for peace? Peace that can only come through Jesus Christ? If not, now will be a great time for you to ask Jesus to come into your life and tear down this wall. Thank you.